Hi there, it's Sharon and welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm going to show you how to create this card using daubers for your background and coordinating sentiment. We'll be using the triangle background from Basic Gray and it's part of the new Prism release for the 2015 catalog. For my project today, I'm going to be using daubers in three different colors, Buttercup, Dark Quartz, and Charcoal. And all I'm going to do with these is to color them directly onto my stamp. I'm going to start with the lightest color and then I'm going to work my way down to the dark quartz and then I'll add the charcoal. Once that's done I'm going to take a piece of watercolor paper and stamp my stamp right onto the watercolor paper. And this is what the finished background panel looks like. It's a little bit splotchy and still a little bit wet, so I'll hit it with heat tool and just dry it for a minute or two. Once the panel's dry, I'm going to take a trimmer and I'm going to cut the panel to two and a half inches. And the other piece we can put aside for later, you can use it on a different project. The next thing I'm going to do is take the daubers I've already used and go around the edges of the panel um, using the same color. So for the top, I'll use the buttercup. I'll use the dark quartz again on the middle. And then I'll finish off the bottom with the charcoal. I think this just gives the panel a more finished look overall instead of leaving all the edges white. I'll set that panel aside to dry for a couple of minutes and we'll work on the sentiment. So I'll be using the ticket die. This is one of the frame cuts dies. And we'll be stamping the sentiment in the mid-tone shadow ink in charcoal gray. So it coordinates with the dauber that we've already used. And this is a new happy birthday to you stamp. This is also from the 2015 catalog. And I love the handwriting on this stamp. So we'll stamp it a little bit to the left of the ticket die. And we're gonna score this die. So we're only going to use part of it on our card and we'll fold the rest over. So I'm just going to the right of the sentiment, uh, leaving a little bit of white space and making a score line there. Now we'll add some color to the sentiment using the daubers that we've already used. So this is just an inexpensive ceramic palette it's from an art store. And I just put the daubers in the palette. And I'll be using again the buttercup and the dark quartz. And then I'll use a water brush to give the sentiment a little more color. So I'll start with the buttercup and I will just paint over the happy. I'm just going to finish the words on the bottom of the sentiment with the darker color. Now we're ready to assemble the card. First, I'll take the ticket die and I'll put some adhesive on the back of it. I'll set that aside. I'm also going to put some adhesive around the back of my panel. And once that's done, I'm going to fold the ticket die. I think I'll turn this over. Just fold it around the panel so I can adhere it to the card. I think that just needs a little bit more color. So what I'm going to do now is add a strip of color. I think we'll use the dark quartz. And I'll just take a little strip of paper and I'll take the dark quartz dauber and I'm just going to color over it. And this is a great technique to use if you're if you don't have a color that you've already used in, with ink or a dauber. You can just make your own paper. So I'll hit that with the heat tool and let it dry completely. And then once it's dry, I'm just gonna wipe off my craft mat quickly so I don't get ink on my card. Now we're ready to put the card together. So I'll take the charcoal folded note. I'll add the quartz strip that we made. I'll just put some adhesive on that. I'll add that to my card. And then I'll take the panel that already has adhesive on that and just place it on top. 
And I think that little tiny strip just gives a little bit more tie into that dark horse color. And there you have it. The card is done. Um, it's super easy and you can recreate this card with a multitude of colors for any occasion. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun learning how to make this Darber card with coordinating sentiment. For more ideas and inspiration, please visit HeroArts.com.